Good morning students. So today we are going to start with a new chapter that is know your computer. So in this chapter we are going to learn about what is computer, how does computer work, knowing hardware and software, what is input, process and output cycle, knowing input devices, knowing output devices, inside the system box, secondary storage devices and supporting devices. So now we are going to study about what is a computer. A computer is a powerful tool because it is able to process information with amazing speed, reliability and accuracy. It can store huge amount of information and communicate with other computers. Computers allow users to generate correct information quickly, hold the information so that it is available at any time and share the information with other computer users. Computers are basically used in almost every field, namely first, education, second, science and technology, third, medicine, fourth, banking, fifth, business, and sixth, entertainment. So now we are going to study about how does a computer work. A computer system has different parts that together make it work. These parts are hardware and software. This combination of hardware and software works on the basis of input, process and output, which is called as IPO cycle. Knowing Hardware and Software What is a hardware? All the physical solid parts of the computer system that you can touch and see are called hardware. The hardware components form the body of the computer system. Now they are mainly of four types. First, input devices. Second, processing devices. Third, output devices and fourth is storage devices. What is software? Software is the name given to the set of instructions or programs that instruct the computer how to perform a specific job. Software can be defined as soul although it is not visible but it works and control the computer system. Now it is mainly of two types. System software, for example, MS Windows. Second, application software, for example, MS Office. So now we are going to learn about input, process and output cycle. What is input? Input means data and it is provided or fed by the user through keyboard to the CPU. Mouse, joysticks and touchpad are also used to input the data. What is process? Memory, control unit, arithmetic and logical unit. First, the work done by the CPU on the input data is called processing. CPU performs processing under our instructions to give us the desired result. What is output? Output means result or what we get after the processing. The output is either displayed on the monitor or printed on the paper. So now we are going to learn about input devices. What is the input devices? The devices which provide data or information to the computer are called input devices. These devices tell the computer what work has to be done. The first input device is keyboard. It is a device used to type information or commands directly to the computer. It almost reassembles a typewriter. A 101-104 keys Keyboard is the most common computer keyboard.
The second input device is mouse. This is a pointing device used to click a command or icon either to select or execute them. They play a major role in Windows or window based programs. Now there are two types of mouse. First, wired optical mouse. Second, wireless mouse. The third input device is touch screen. This is a pointing device used to click a command or icon either to select or execute them. They play a major role in windows or window based programs. The fourth input device is scanner. Scanner are devices used to copy or read printed text, graphics, pictures and drawing straight to your computer. The fifth input device is light pen. This is an electronic pen attached to a computer and used to input data by writing on the screen. This pen is used to draw pictures. Now we are going to learn about output devices. What are output devices? The hardware devices like monitor and printer fall in this category. They provide the processed output depending on input. The result can, can be printed on a paper or can be seen on the monitor. Monitor Monitor commonly called as visual display unit in the main output device of a computer. It is used to display the visual output called as soft copy as soft copy of the given input after processing. Now there are three types of monitor. First, CRT monitor, cathode, ray tube, LCD monitor, liquid crystal display, LED monitor, light light emitting diode. The second output device is printers. Printers are required when we need the output to be printed on a paper. The printed copy from a printer is called the hardware copy. The most common types of printer are dot matrix printer, inkjet printer and laser printer. The third type of output device is plotter. A plotter is an output device much like a printer used to print high quality large drawing such as maps, building plans and business plans. A plotter uses a pen to print images. It is mainly used by architects and engineers. The fourth type of output device is speakers. They are output devices that give the output in the form of sound. Normally we call them the mouth of the computer through which the computer communicates with us. The fifth type of output device is projectors. A projector is a graphical display unit which projects or display the output from a computer to a specially designed large white screen. Inside the system box, this is an image which is showing us about the internal view of a CPU box. CPU box contains CD, DVD ROM, hard disk, RAM, power supply, supply microprocessor CPU and a motherboard in it. Microprocessor the microprocessor, most commonly called as Central Processing Unit, CPU, is the computer's brain. Beside the processing, CPU controls all the internal working of the computer and the working of all the parts attached to the computer system. Motherboard The main system board is often called as motherboard. All the different components and devices of the computer system are somehow linked to the motherboard. 
memory unit. This part of CPU stores information or data permanently or temporarily while working on the computer. Now memory is further divided into two parts namely primary memory and secondary memory. Secondary memory. What is primary memory? It is the built in memory of the computer and forms a part of the CPU. It stores the data or instructions currently used by the computer. It is temporarily in nature and gets erased, erased when the power is switched off. What is secondary memory? This memory stores information permanently. Information once stored remains there till we erase it. CDs, hard disk and pen drives are the example of secondary memory of secondary memory. Now the primary memory is divided into two parts ROM and RAM. ROM read only memory, RAM random access memory. Now we are going to study about secondary storage devices. These devices help you to store information permanently. Information once stored in these devices will remain there till you erase it. First, hard disk drive. It is the main storage device which is fitted inside the computer system and stores the operating system, windows and other application programs. The second storage device is Compact Disk CD. It is an optical storage media which is circular in shape and used for recording, storing and playing audio or video, text or any other information stored in the digital form. It can store up to 700 MB of data. The third storage device is DVD. DVD is known as digital versatile disc or digital video disc. This storage media stores data up to 4.7 GB more than 6 times as compared to CD. The fourth storage device is USB flash drive. This is a flash memory storage device also called as pen drive integrated with the USB port of the computer system. They are removable and rewritable storage capacities range from 1 GB to 32 GB. The fifth is online data storage. Online data storage is a technology that allows you to store your data on the internet servers alternative to traditional local storage such as hard disk or other portable devices. Supporting devices UPS An uninterrupted power supply UPS is a device used to protect your computer system against power failure or fluctuating power flow. Second, modem a modem is a device which allows the computer to transfer data through telephone lines to other computer. It is an essential part that connects the computer to internet. Third, headset. A headset means headphones combined with a microphone. Headphones are used for different tasks such as listening to music, conference calls, etc. Fourth, Web Camera. Web is a device connected to a computer to capture images for recording or for transmission over the internet. Now, let's recall some important points from this chapter. First, computer is an electronic device which accepts data, processes it based on our instructions and gives related outputs. Second, computer system works on the basis of input, process and output that is IPO cycle. Third, 
Hardware is the physical part of a computer which can be touched and seen. Fourth, software can be defined as a set of instructions that instruct the computer how to do a specific job although it is not visible. Fifth, input devices like keyboard or mouse help us to give data or instructions to the computer. Sixth, CPU, central processing unit, performs processing on the input data as per the instructions given. Seventh, output devices like monitor or printer provide the result or information. Eighth, memory unit is the storage area of a computer which stores data temporarily or permanently that and is measured in term of megabytes, MB and gigabytes, GB. Ninth, primary memory is the main memory which stores the data used by computer and is temporarily in nature. Tenth, secondary memory is an external memory that stores data, per data permanently. Eleventh, online data storage is an alternative to local storage such as hard disk and allow you to store data on the internet servers.